Hello, let's solve this problem. From the figure, we have to calculate x. Since we have to calculate the measure of an angle and we have triangles in the figure, it's important to remember some basic properties in triangles. The sum of the measures of the three interior angles is 180 degrees. If a triangle has two sides of equal length, it is called a isosceles triangle. And the measures of the opposite angles are equal. Uh, something similar happens if we have two internal angles with the same measure. The sides opposite to those two angles should have the same length. For instance, in our problem, because the measures of the interior angles BAC and BCA are 50 degrees, to complete the 180 degrees, the measure of the third angle angle ABC should be 80 degrees and because angles BAC and BCA have the same measure the triangle ABC is isosceles and AB is equal to BC okay let's see how to calculate X we can see that X is the difference between the measures of angles ABC and ABQ we know the measure of angle ABC, it is 80 degrees. But we don't know the measure of angle ABQ. We could try to calculate it working in triangle ABQ, but we don't know the measure of angle AQB. We can make another try at solving the problem working in triangle BQC but uh, we don't know the measure of angle VQC. Uh, you can calculate the measure of angle AQC because we know the other two internal angles of triangle AQC, but that doesn't help. We see that we cannot calculate X just using basic relations of angles. Then an alternative method is needed. There are some problems that allow us to get a solution using auxiliary lines. In some cases, when we have to calculate an angle, those lines are used to create isosceles and or equilateral triangles. Okay, before we continue, remember that if we have two segments with a common end and with the same length, the triangle that is formed joining the other two ends with a straight line segment is an equilateral triangle. Why? Because the measures of the other two angles are both 60 degrees. That is because they are opposite to the sides with equal length and they both should add up to 120 degrees. In a triangle, if the measures of the three interior angles are equal, his three sides should have the same length. Now, two important notes about creating isosceles and equilateral triangles when using auxiliary lines. One, if we try to create an equilateral triangle and there is an isosceles triangle in the problem, it is commonly convenient to create the equilateral triangle such that it has a common side with the isosceles triangle being the common side, one of the equal length sides of the isosceles triangle. For instance, uh, given an isosceles triangle, which could be part of a problem, we could draw a straight line such that it forms a 60 degree angle as shown. Then we can get a point in that line such that the segment in that line has the same length as the two equal length sides of the existing isosceles triangle. In some problems, when we use auxiliary lines considering the input information, it is enough to create isosceles or equilateral triangles separately. But some problems require to create both simultaneously. This is not always possible, but when it is, there is high probability that it will help you solve the problem. For instance, given the isosceles triangle, the line L and the angles of 20 and 80 degrees as shown in the figure, 
what is the auxiliary line that we should use considering the two nodes just mentioned it? Okay, look at this. From point B, we can draw an infinite number of straight line segments with the other end in line L. But which one would be convenient? We are going to draw the one that forms an angle of 60 degrees as shown in the figure. With that segment, we could form the triangle TBC that we hope is equilateral. But is it? Right now, we only have the 60 degree angle and uh, one of its sides, BC in this case, is one of the same length sides of the isosceles triangle ABC. Uh, please, see triangle ABT. The sum of 20, 80 and 60 degrees is 160 degrees. Then, to complete the 180 degrees, the measure of angle BTA should be 20 degrees. You see that triangle ABT is isosceles because the measures of angles BAT and BTA are equal. Then BT is equal to BA. You can also see that because BT is equal to BC and the measure of angle CBT is 60 degrees, triangle CBT is equilateral. It's important to notice that the conditions we have just shown are included in the problem we are trying to solve. In our problem, BA is equal to BC and the measures of angles ABC and BAQ are 80 and 20 degrees respectively. Then, based on what we know, we extend segment AQ. We draw a segment BT such that the measure of angle TBC is 60 degrees. In triangle ABT, the measure of angle BTA is 20 degrees to complete the 180 degrees. And BT is equal to BA. Following the segment TC, we would be forming the equilateral triangle CBT because BT is equal to BC and the measure of angle TBC is 60 degrees. Then all its interior angles measure 60 degrees and its three sides have the same length. Now focus on triangle QTC. The measures of two interior angles are 40 and 70 degrees. Then to complete the 180 degrees, the measure of angle TQC should be 70 degrees. And because the measure of angle TQC is equal to the measure of angle TCQ, TQ is equal to TC. Finally, focus on triangle BTQ. It is isosceles because TQ is equal to TB. Then it has two equal measure angles. In triangle VTQ, the measure of angle VTQ is 20 degrees. Then the measures of the other two should add up to 160 degrees. But since they both are equal, each should be 80 degrees. Then we can say that X plus 60 degrees is 80 degrees. from which we obtain the value of x, it is equal to 20 degrees. Great, we have completed the solution. For solutions to other problems in pre-university or university topics, visit 4duni.com. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time.